Now the 90s saw a lot of cool technology and innovation. Things like Disney Quest, Planet Hollywood, but not all of them stood the test of time. Fortunately, Paradise Islands, really cool resort, was able to make it through time. So let's go ahead and look at some of the history and some of the facts about this massive and impressive resort. So in 1994, Saul Kersner, who was a big time developer, bought a languishing resort on Paradise Island in the Bahamas from Merv Griffin, and he started a huge and fast construction project. Yeah, that's right, Merv Griffin. You know, the guy who brought you Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Well, anyway, he designed and transformed a 1147 room resort on Paradise Island with a 14 acre waterscape of swimming pools, waterfalls, a lazy river, six lagoons, and a clear water tunnel in a shark habitat. It redefined tourism in the Bahamas and it was a sight to see. Two years later, they did an $800 million expansion. So they had big sites to make the big, biggest epic resort in North America in the Bahamas, which when you think about it is pretty crazy. The fact that they put a mega, mega resort in the Bahamas, who knew that it would be as successful as it is? The $800 million expansion included a Mayan temple water slide, six swimming areas, and the world's largest open air marine environment with 11 million gallons of water, and the Royal Marina, which was a host to mega yachts. Now I've been there and the yachts are insane. The fact that these that people are putting $100 million resorts in the marina, it's just something to see. And if you get a chance to go to the Bahamas, make sure you go to Paris, Paradise Island and maybe stay there or at least take the tour. During the expansion, they also filled the 1200 room resort with tons of art from all over the world, including glass sculptures, Temple of the Sun and Temple of the Moon by Dale Chihuly, which are each valued at over a million dollars each. They spared no expense building this lavish resort, which some people will say is the world's greatest. Go ahead and leave your comments below. Do you think that this is the world's greatest resort? And also before I continue, just a reminder that today's episode is brought to you by Thinergy. I've used Thinergy, Watson's used Thinergy, we've all used Thinergy and we absolutely love it. It's a great way to get in shape for your beach body for going to some of these fantastic resorts on World's Greatest. Back to our main topic. In 2001, the inaugural Michael Jordan Celebrity Invitational Golf Tournament was launched. It was there for over 10 years and raised millions of dollars for charities and local causes. So kudos to Michael Jordan and the golf tournament. The popular Marina Village opened in 2005. It was a big shopping experience, dining and entertainment. It is a little pricey, but it's cool to see. And it's open for the general public to just walk around and check out. So again, if you're at Paradise Island, go check out the Marine Village. In 2007, they added on, a, they had a third phase billion dollar expansion, which put luxury condos as part of the resort. In 2009, they opened Atlantis Kids Adventures, the coolest club on the planet. Uh, it opened with rave reviews, and it was just a fun, high-tech, interactive environment with Lego construction zones, a culinary kitchen just for kids, and all sorts of fun stuff. Now, as a reminder, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm going to Atlantis um, sometime next month, so we'll have an updated video, I'm sure, with all sorts of fresh footage. The resort also has a 14,000 square foot nightclub for teens. I don't know how that works, but the drinking age in the Bahamas is 18. So it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Not my scene though. Also has the Cartoon Network 60 Days of Summer that launched in 2007 and just a ton of fun stuff. The Battle of Atlantis made it a splash with college basketball in 2010 and there's just so much going on. It's an incredible, incredible resort. In 2020, the resort briefly closed due to COVID, 
but as of the time of this recording, it's back open. Masks are required, and to visit the Bahamas, you need a negative COVID test within 48 hours of leaving your country of origin. Personally, I resort, I love this resort. It's a lot of fun. If you get a chance, if you're going on a cruise and you get a chance to do the tour of the resort and check out the many um, water parks and things in it, the aquarium, everything about it, take that opportunity. It's really worthwhile. At least walk through it, even if you don't stay there. And it is really fun to hobnob with some of the elite in North America. So anyway, folks, I'm Adam. I hope you enjoy this episode of World's Greatest. And leave me a comment what we should cover next. What are some of the next world's greatest resorts, ships, things of the sort, vacations, foods? What do you want to see next? Now stick around for another word from Thinergy, my favorite weight loss supplement. And go ahead and take your Thinergy to help boost your metabolism before the next vacation. Thanks for watching and adios amigos.